Welcome! In this video we will find out what you can do if you forgot your password for Sum. So the main problem is obviously you can't log in into your Sum account because you forgot your password. And at some point it will also tell you that yeah, that uh, you should retry after 5 minutes and so on. Uh, the only thing you can do there is, uh, well, you can uninstall some. So the most important part is when you do that, uh, and also when you create your accounts, you should know your secret phrase. So unless you, if you don't know that one, then I wouldn't recommend installing. So if you have a quick look now here, so it's going to be, I'm just going to show you it here. Um, so usually when you create an account in some, so instead of some, then you have like these secret numbers there. So th these are th this matrix so of, eight, uh, of eight different fields consisting out of six numbers. And you need those. If you don't have them, don't uninstall the sum map. Otherwise you completely lose your access to the account. So what you now have to do is that, um, right. So now we just go to the sum map. You can just uninstall it. Um, so just have to open it now. So now we're going to go to the sum app, we're going to go back to the screen and we're going to just click on, we can also just hold the left click, it's also a possibility, and click on app details. And then there's, there's a part called, um, if we just go back there, um, yeah, if we go to storage and then you just can click on delete data. So this will also delete the entire data. So right now it is, it's like it's as if you just installed some completely new, okay? Uh, so otherwise, if, if you don't can, if you can't do that, then just uninstall the app and reinstall it again. Right then, we have to start again. So unfortunately, it's rather right German. I'm going to change that. All right, so I'm just going to keep it that way. So it's the um, right. Just click on start, then click on start again, and then define a passcode again. So now we can define it again. Like I said, it's unimportant if you forget forget it. Uh, you can just do the steps here. So obviously, it's not it's not nice if you forget it because you have to go through these steps here. But in this far, it's unimportant that you can still uh, do these steps and can access your account again. So and then obviously you have to go through the entire info. Please also understand all of this extra info because it's here to educate you to understand um, everything about the exit pledger. So in regards to having accounts. Um, right, so like I said, it's the, mo the most important part is that you have these here. So either the secret numbers or the family seed or both, because they both express the same thing, uh, just different formats, because that's a more user-friendly format, because a user, it's easier for user to write down numbers instead of, uh, well, letters in with uppercase and lowercase uh, written letters. So it's more, it's harder to, I don't know, to maybe make a mistake there, but it's very, I don't know, straightforward if you ha handle numbers. All right, so yeah, you just have to keep going on there and just clicking on next and we'll pause the video again for that. All right, so when we're finally here, then we can just go to add account. So I'm just going to change the language. We go to to advanced. There should be some part where we can define a language, shouldn't there be? Oh, no, I have to change the system, but it doesn't, didn't work before. So, okay, now we can change it here on under general. So let's change it back to English. Okay, great. So now we can continue. Awesome, so we can just go to home and click on add account and click on import an existing account because we already have one. And then you click on full access again and click on secret numbers. So if you have these secret numbers there, then you click on secret numbers and just import it. So I won't do that because it's very time expensive. Doing that, I will do it with the other one. I will do it with the family seed. So I as a developer prefer using that one um, because it's easier for me. And then I'm just gonna Copy the right part, that's the keep, save, save that one here, that doesn't belong here. Keep, save, there. Okay. And after you have to do it, just can click on next again and you're done. And you re-imported your account which, uh, to which you lost access because you forgot the passcode for uh, some. So yeah, it's that simple. Like I said, um, yeah, just reinstalling some or just deleting the user data and then re-importing all the accounts with the secret phrase, the family seed you have on your own. It's always time expensive. But like I said, one very important part to understand is that what does the sum app do? The sum app stores your seed phrase, the secret numbers on your phone, encrypted so nobody can access it. But um, Instead of you entering your seed phrase all the time when you want to use it, it creates a passcode so you can define a passcode so it knows it's still you. Um, so only a person who has your phone, so has your phone unlocked and also has entered a password for the software wallet on your phone can sign transactions. So that's 
pretty safe actually. So that's just just for you to understand how it actually works. Because like I said, the phone stores that one. Uh, so not the, the public address, man. Just the your phone stores um, the phone receipt, like I said, and uses that one to sign all the future transactions you intend to sign. All right. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.